The 2017-2018 Audi A3 Convertible Launched in 2003, the Audi A3 brought new standards to the premium compact market. A step ahead of the competition thanks to its well-equipped interior, state-of-the-art technology, and advanced driving assistance features, the A3 became a popular choice in both Europe and the US also, the fact that Ingolstadt offered no fewer than four body styles and performance-oriented S models for each of them made the A3 the most complete nameplate in the segment. Almost four years have passed since the third-gen compact went in production and Audi unveiled the facelifted versions of each and every variant of the A3, including the convertible. Much like all new vehicles the four-ringed automaker has introduced in 2015, the A3 convertible received sharper and sportier styling features. Inspired by the design language seen on the new A4, the new A3 convertible is by far the most aggressive-looking compact drop-top Audi has released to date, especially when equipped with the S-Line package. But, while the exterior gained updates worthy of a redesign, the interior remained pretty much unchanged, with all the noticeable upgrades operated in the technology department. More changes occurred under the hood, with two brand new engines and a dual-clutch transmission on offer. Among them, there's a 1.0-liter three-cylinder engine, available for the first time on the compact. Audi also developed a more powerful and fuel-efficient 2.0-liter four-banger, which unlike the three-pot, will cross the pond to the US to replace the previous range topping unit. It won't get here until 2017, but that gives us enough time to have an in-depth look at Audi's most affordable cabriolet. Updated the 11th of August 2016, Audi announced US prices for the 2017 A3 convertible which will be put on sale later this year in three trim levels, Premium, Premium Plus and Prestige. Details on the prices, section below. Continue reading to learn more about the 2017 Audi A3 convertible. Exterior as expected based on the new design language Audi introduced on several new and facelifted models in 2015, the A3 convertible received sharper, sportier contours. Up front, the Germans changed everything but the hood. The headlamps are flatter and feature distinctive outlines, while the grille is sharper, wider, and sports new, double horizontal bars. Below, the side intakes are significantly larger, while the thin vent at the bottom of the apron is shaped around the lower section of the main grille. For the first time, the A3 can also be ordered with Matrix LED technology, which is also a premiere for the segment. Xenon headlamps are standard, but the customers can also have LED units for an extra fee. For the first time, the A3 can also be ordered with Matrix LED technology, which is also a premiere for the segment. Changes are unnoticeable on the sides, where everything appears to be the same except for the wheel designs, but the rear fascia showcases a couple of significant changes. The first thing that catches the eye is the new taillight design, which has horizontal LED graphics. The units are also longer and have a sharper design. The second notable change is the redesigned diffuser with new side vents. The bumper was also remodeled, now sporting a beefier design and prominent character lines. 12 paint colors are available, 5 of which are new. Additions include Era Blue, Cosmic Blue, Nano Gray, Tango Red, and Vegas Yellow. Audi also offers Daytona Gray Pearl Effect, but this finish is reserved for the S-Line exterior package, which is pictured above in Tango Red. The wheel variety is equally impressive with 16-inch rollers as standard and 17-19-inch to 19 -inch rims available as options. All told, the new A3 convertible is quite different for an Audi facelift and the revised body elements turned the compact drop top into one of the sportiest propositions in this segment. Not counting the M, AMG, and RS badged options that is. Interior Inside, changes are rather difficult to spot. Everything from the dashboard to the door panels remained essentially unaltered, with only the steering wheel, instrument cluster, and eight C vents showcasing new designs. The steering wheel gained a larger central element and a shorter lower spoke that gives it a sportier appearance. The controls have also been revised, but nothing major. New options include a heated steering wheel and a driver's seat with massage function. The seats have been optimized and the newly designed equipment lines bring new upholstery colors and combinations, but other than that, the cabin was carried over from last year's model as far as styling goes. 
Visuals aside, the A3 convertible did receive an updated 12.3-inch TFT instrument cluster and a revamped infotainment MMI system. Visuals aside, the A3 convertible did receive an updated 12.3-inch TFT instrument cluster and a revamped infotainment MMI system. The menu structure has been redesigned and it is now based on smartphones for a more familiar browsing experience. The centerpiece of the MMI terminal is the round rotary, push-button control with the touch-sensitive touchpad for entering characters, multi-finger gestures, and zooming within the map. The toggle switches and buttons above the rotary button enable the driver to navigate through the newly designed menu structure. The system also includes enhanced voice control for navigation, radio, and media. The MMI Radio Plus with the 7-inch monitor is standard equipment, while the MMI Navigation and MMI Navigation Plus with MMI Touch and Audi Connect module are optional. The latter includes navigation with Google Earth and Google Street View traffic information in real time, as well as info on parking, destinations, news or weather. Granted, interior updates aren't as comprehensive as on the outside design-wise, but the revised infotainment system and new technology makes up for it. And needless to say, the inside of the A3 still looks fresh after more than three years on the market. Drivetrain Under the hood, the A3 convertible received updated and new engines, with the European lineup now consisting of three gasoline and three diesel units. The gasoline range begins with the 1.0-liter TFSI, a three-cylinder power plant that's offered in the A3 for the very first time. The gasoline range begins with the 1.0-liter TFSI, a three-cylinder power plant that's offered in the A3 for the very first time. The entry-level unit pumps out 115 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque and, while it's the least powerful, it returns the best fuel economy. Next in line is the 1.4 TFSI 4-pot with cylinder-on-demand technology that turns off two cylinders when full output is not required. This engine generates 150 horses and 184 pound-feet of twist. The third gasoline drivetrain is the brand new 2.0-liter TFSI. Featuring an innovative combustion process, it sends 190 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque to the wheels. On the diesel front, there's a new entry-level four-cylinder engine that displaces 1.6 liters and cranks out 110 horsepower. Then there's the familiar 2.0-liter TDI, which is available in two flavors. The least powerful variant delivers 150 horsepower and 251 pound-feet, while the range-topping version is rated at 184 horses and 280 pound-feet. Transmission choices include a 6-speed manual and the S-Tronic 7-speed dual clutch. The new 2.0-liter TFSI is offered with a newly developed S-Tronic with wet clutch. The bigger gasoline engine is also the only one that can be ordered with the optional Quattro all-wheel drive system. Naturally, only a few of these engines will cross the pond to the US given that the previous model was sold with the 1.8 and 2.0 liter gasoline units. The facelifted convertible will probably arrive in North American dealerships with the 1.4 liter and brand new 2.0 liter power plants. Suspension. The A3 suspension has been retuned for a more balanced ride, but customers looking for a sportier feel can have it with the optional sport suspension. The new setup lowers the car by 0.6 inches. Audi also offers a new suspension system with the S-Line package. This one lowers the ride height by 1 inch for a stance similar to the S3 model. The revised electromechanical power steering is more sensitive and efficient, but the A3 can also be ordered with the optional electrically powered progressive steering system from the S3. Safety, the facelift also brings new and updated driver assistance systems into the A3. The facelift also brings new and updated driver assistance systems into the A3. Highlights include the traffic jam assist, a first for the compact segment, and adaptive cruise control with stop and go feature. This system keeps the car at a safe distance from the vehicle in front and sets it in motion again after a short stop. It also takes over driving duties in sluggish traffic up to 40 miles per hour. The drop top is also equipped with emergency assist, which initiates braking to a complete stop if no steering activity by the driver is detected. Both the traffic jam and emergency assist systems are optional. Other features include the new rear cross-traffic assist that warns the driver about cross-traffic when backing out of a parking space, prices, U.S.
Pricing for the A3 Cabriolet starts from $40,300, for that amount you get the premium model, which carries a $700 premium over the previous versions. Move up to the premium plus trim and the sticker increases to $43,550. Finally, the range topping prestige fetches $49,250 before options. 0.2018 Audi A3 convertible prices. 0.2017 Audi A3 convertible prices. Competition BMW 2 Series convertible, launched in 2013 as a successor to the 1 Series Coupe, the 2 Series spawned a convertible version for the 2015 model year. Identical to its coupe sibling from the waist down, the 2 Series convertible is arguably the more attractive proposition in this segment. Not only its styling is more exciting, but the Bimmer also employs a rear-wheel drive layout, which provides a more engaging driving experience, unlike the A3, however, the 2 Series is available with just one engine in US, a 2.0-liter 4-banger rated at 240 horsepower and 255 pound-feet of torque. With this unit, the Bimmer sprints from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds, 5.6 ticks with X drive. Of course, those in need of more power can opt for either the M235i or the M2, which could be as exciting as the larger M4 according to our comparison here. The 2 Series convertible fetches $38,650 before options. For all-wheel drive, you'll have to pay an extra $2,000, find out more about the BMW 2 Series convertible here, conclusion. As Audi's most affordable convertible, the A3 Cabriolet is an important vehicle for the German brand and a facelift was necessary after nearly four years since the third-generation A3 came to the market. The compact drop top is still attractive and its interior is fresh enough to keep customers happy for a couple more years. But, the extensive exterior upgrade is more than welcome with the brand new BMW 2 Series in showrooms. Unfortunately for Audi though, the Bimmer looks to be the better option as far as the platform, drivetrain, and design go. The 2 Series convertible is also only $2,000 more expensive than the A3 Cabriolet as of 2016, which will probably force Audi to develop the 4th gen model sooner than planned. Love it A4 Inspire headlamps and grille sportier front bumper the most affordable Audi convertible you can buy well equipped, modern technology. Leave it built on the FWD platform the BMW 2 Series is hard to beat not many changes on the inside. Spy shots. November 8, 2015 first testing session. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.